Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you supposed to deliver a speech for the Western Pathologist Association next month? Well, what about it? Well, you know, I think a new suit might be a very good idea for you. Well, you're supposed to represent this department. It wouldn't hurt our image for you to be dressed in something up in style for a change. Pietro, I want you to do Dr. Quincy up proud. And let me see, let me see. No, 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 no. There, there, that's you. Dr. Quincy likes this one. <laughs> you seem to be the authority. And I'm, I'm really sorry for laughing, Quincy. It's just that, well, a custom-made suit that you won in a raffle is... Um... <laughs> That's my boss. Okay, good, good. You got a good spotter. <laughs> All right. Come on, girls, let's knock it off. Oh, Come on, you want to gather around? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. The state finals are in 10 days. <laughs> For that reason, we will be having what you might call a dress rehearsal tomorrow. Each of you will go through your routine in a solo performance for me. That way I can help you iron out any individual problems you may be having before we get into actual competition. You've all worked long and hard, and your dedication shows. You are one of the finest gymnastic teams in the nation. <laughs> And in 10 days, everyone will know just how good you are. Right. <laughs> now go on. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Miss Hart. Good night. 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 I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, good night. Pedro, finish the suit? No, he ran into an emergency. An emergency? What kind of an emergency can a tailor have? You ever hear of Perry the Penguin? Who? Well, he's really Frank London. He gets into a penguin suit, and he does an imitation of Fred Astaire putting on his top hat. Well, he really believed he was a penguin, and he jumped into the fountain. He got all wet, and the suit shrunk. <laughs> Pietro made it, so he had to go fix it. It shrunk? Yeah. Did the penguin win his suit in a raffle, too? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wish this was the real thing instead of just rehearsal. <laughs> I really feel great today. Absolutely great. You're really up, Sally. I wish I was. Yeah, you will be too, as soon as you get up. Come on. I hope so. Mm -hmm. One for you, and two for me. Do you really think you should take those? I mean, you said you were so up and everything. I know. But I'm really going to show them all something today. But two, you never took two before. Yeah, but I got this new move I'm going to try today. Whoa, it'll really blow Miss Hart's mind. Hmm, yeah. right, let's go. Terrific today. Calm down, will you? Calm down. <sighs> Sally, Brenda, come on, join us. Okay. Today you're going to show me and show yourselves just how good you really are. Jeannie?
Sit down, Jimmy. Okay, Sally, you can be next. Absolutely necessary, Dr. Aston. Yes, it is. We have to determine the cause of death and the circumstances surrounding it. That can't do her any good. She fell. Her neck was broken. The law is very specific in accidents like this. Dr. Aston, you don't seem to understand the grief my wife and I feel. Well, there are certain procedures we have to follow. Have you ever had any of your own children lie on one of those slabs of yours? <laughs> You don't understand, Dr. Quincy. We try, Mr. Peters. Believe me, we try very hard. Our daughter was an only child. She meant everything to us. Oh, she was such a good girl. And that meant more to us than anything. Why did she have to die? We can't answer that, Mrs. Peters. But there are certain questions we could answer if we did an autopsy. If you feel that it's absolutely necessary. We do. <gasps> Sally Peters, female Caucasian, 17 years old. So young, Sam. Too young to be in here. These are the x-rays on the Peters girl, Dr. Quincy. Thanks, Mark. Set them up, please. There's no sign of any broken neck. There's no neck injury of any kind. Well, something killed her. Her skin tone's normal. Her muscle development is exceptional. She appears in perfect physical condition. She was doing a flip and she didn't come out of it. Seems she lost her balance. 17-year-old girl just doesn't die like that, Sam. Let's see if we can find a reason. Right. 